Hello, all you friends of the blade. Welcome back. Good to see you. Today we are going to talk about a fascinating topic about uh, tomahawks. Well, I have been using axes in all kinds of uh, sizes all my life here in northern Germany. And uh, also with tomahawks I'm uh, quite familiar for the last uh, five years with the traditional tomahawks which use a wooden handle and uh, now I want to show you this very interesting item this is uh, from uh, Columbia River Knife and Tool Company uh, the Kangi Tomahawk the uh, Kangi T-Hawk and uh, that's a nice item I uh, purchased some uh, weeks ago and the reason why I uh, uh, went for this uh, nice little tomahawk was uh, I read so much on the internet about uh, tactical tomahawks and uh, I just wanted to know more about uh, this stuff, tactical tomahawk and uh, you all probably know uh, RMJ uh, tomahawks, uh, Ryan M. Johnson uh, he produces uh, high quality tomahawks like the Kestrel or the Jenny Ren or the Shrike and they cost about uh, $500 uh, around this and uh, so this is a, a very uh, nice alternative uh, well okay it's made uh, I guess in Taiwan it's made out of SK5 carbon steel and the design is licensed by RMJ you can read it here RMJ Kangi T-Hawk so, I think that's a good uh, decision for somebody who wants to know more about tactical tomahawks but uh, don't want to spend so much money. Now, what can I say about this item? You can get a lot of uh, info about this uh, on the web, so I don't want to repeat myself. Just some issues. Um, it has it is. Uh, synthetic material grip and uh, the rest uh, of the tomahawk the head of course and the uh, uh, middle part of the grip is metal SK5 carbon steel now I saw a picture of this uh, of some guy who uh, removed uh, the synthetic uh, grips and the handle you can hear it is a full tang uh, on the other hand, it's not totally entirely uh, metal inside. It has five holes, three holes for the uh, screws, uh, two additional holes where you can add paracord, and then it's also got four larger uh, spaces here. Uh, you could uh, uh, see it, uh, if you remove the grip, you can see four larger areas also drilled out. Um, I, uh, in fact, I saw one picture where a guy put paracord around uh, um, the, the metal instead of this uh, grip. But I like this grip. It's it's very very good uh, gripping quality, and I mean this hawk is fast in hand really, because uh, due to its uh, small size, it's not large and it's a really lightweight tool. You can see it here. Now, some thoughts about this issue. I think it's good if you are interested, for instance, in the RMJ uh, Jenny Ren Hawk. I think that's comparable size, but uh, don't want to spend so much money uh, and just want to try out how it feels to have such a tactical tomahawk in hand. Then this CA Car T is a very good uh, decision. Well, because for the price of a Jenny Ren, you can probably get a uh, four of these and uh, now when you compare this uh, tactical hawk for instance to a cold steel rifleman's hawk you can see the different concepts the tactical hawk is one flat uh, piece of metal a flat head and the scales are added in a sandwich structure on uh, either side of the grip here it is a very traditional approach where you have solid piece of metal and the uh, wooden handle 
goes right through the uh, hole in the middle. So this is a concept that has worked uh, for ages, for centuries, and it's still it's a really, really a reliable uh, idea to have a wooden grip in it. Uh, I know uh, from the discussions in Blade Forums that uh, some people think, oh, a wooden grip might break. But, uh, well, I have been throwing with this, uh, with my personal rifleman, for uh, five years now, and this is still the first grip. So, this uh, uh, hickory is really, really um, reliable. And, uh, to my mind, if you use it in a, a sensible way, then it uh, will not uh, fail, this uh, wooden grip. I have seen videos with Ryan Johnson where he smashes a uh, car window and then uh, removes uh, the glass uh, with a grip. Uh, but I think, of course, you can do it with a, a, a metal grip. It's easy to remove glass, the rest of the windows, of the broken window pieces. And, but I think you can do it also with a wooden grip. And in a real emergency situation, you uh, would also use the uh, head and not thinking about uh, damaging your edge or whatever. And uh, this is uh, the um, Kenji Hawk that has a spike on the edge. There's another version where with, with a flat uh, end. I don't know if this is um, recommendable to have a flat end because, you know, it would be much too uh, tiny area to really use it for pounding in nails. Therefore, you have to have a real hammer pole like this one. Well, my final conclusion, the Kanji is a really, really nice tactical tomahawk. It's small, as we have seen, and uh, it, it's not a tool. You, you can use it probably not so good for camping or going outdoors. If you want to produce a firewood for your campfire, then I think there are better options. But it is cool if you want to practice, and for instance, if you know uh, James A. Keeling's DVDs on double knife set, uh, for instance, if you have in your right hand the uh, smashing tomahawk and uh, in your left hand the stabbing tool, like a, a long uh, knife, and therefore practicing, uh, it, it might be a really, really good uh, option to have a tactical tomahawk like this. Gripping quality is so fine, it's fast, allows uh, different uh, positions of gripping. At the end you have more leverage. Here you can do uh, smarter actions. So therefore it's a, it's a nice tomahawk. Really, really recommendable. My conclusion as far as I'm personally concerned is I'm glad to have it, but I also realized when I uh, spent uh, some uh, time with this hawk, I'm more the traditional guy Meaning, I recommend more to get a cold steel uh, traditional tomahawk. So, uh, my personal opinion, modern tactical tomahawk versus traditional hawk, get the traditional one. This is a cool item and for the price of one uh, Kenji hawk, you can get three rifleman's hawk. Consider this. Okay, have a nice day.